use your rejuvenation try and take out a tower so fortunately the towers are up so at this point all I can really do is try and buy myself some time until I can get enough bears um, even with the boots of speed um, the death knight gets away pretty easily you know what I promise to do is at the end of this audio commentary or sometime in the middle of it I'll tell you guys how to beat undead very easily and um, yeah, that's my little uh, you know make up for instead of oh, whatever dude I'll just tell you guys how to beat undead it's, it's, it's pretty easily done and I'm fucking tired a little bit so I apologize um, you know, I listened to, I think it was Wicket's new audio commentary, the new one's up on the page. Does that motherfucker seem high or what, dude? So, it's been smoking that rock or something. So, it's a good audio, though. Anyways, um, I'm about to lose my tower, so that's unfortunate. Um, alright, so anyways, I, I got the bears up, and I'm just trying to buy myself a little bit of time. Uh, I'm not really playing too smart. Um, Demon Hunter did die, and he's just, um, he probably should be going for the Moon Wells first instead of Huntress Hall. Because there's, uh, that's not gonna really do much if that's gone. Oh, uh, excuse me, bitches. So anyways, um, Demon Hunter's halfway out, and I'm at this point in line, fuck, I'm about to lose this game. I just lost a hunt like a champ. As you can see, the game's only a quarter done. Alright, so the tower rush is still on. I think that, you know, I think he's a little overdoing it with the towers. I think, um, I don't know, man. I don't plan on dead. I think that after, no, I guess he's not, because I got bears in the back of my base. I think it's pretty smart to keep doing the towers. Um, one thing, if you're doing a tower rush and it's getting pretty successful and you know you're going to win, you might want to be cool with the towers and not overdo it, because, you know, I don't know, somebody might pull off some kind of miracle or something. So anyways, okay, Demon Hunter's back out, and at this point, I'm like, alright, sweet, I got Master Bears, and I got a lot of them, so now I'm going to try and take out as many towers as I can, maybe a few fiends if possible. He's running back. Um, now, even though I'm doing really good right now, because um, I can take out some towers and stuff, you know, if I, if I was actually pretty good with using my brain and not pretty dumb, um, I would have taken out a couple towers and then retreat and then use like rejuvenation on all my shit and then come back and attack more towers instead of continuing to attack but I figured that I lost but I was doing so well at this point I didn't realize I'd do this well so I kind of gave up so that's one thing you shouldn't do so I lost a bear, I lost two bears I'm about to lose three and I'm about to lose four bears because I'm being kind of stupid alright so anyways, I am knocking down all the towers, which is buying me some good time, but unfortunately I've lost four, five bears. So that is very bad. Um, now I'm attacking a skeleton, and what the fuck am I doing that for? Anyways, so I lost six bears. So what, I've, what I could have done to stop this tower rush and win this game probably fairly fast is because his tech is so slow because he's putting all his resources into uh, tower rushing me. If I would have just retreated, used rejuvenation on my stuff and countered and attacked another couple towers, I could have kept doing that and then I could have uh, just counterattacked and, and wiped out his main base. But unfortunately, um, see, that's the one thing that the quick tech with the tower did. I didn't have to spend a bunch of resources and useless shit, so I was able to spend all that stuff on bears. But, you know, you guys get the drift, so. If you guys ever get tower rushed by undead or anybody in general, just try and keep your, your cool, because you can most likely stop it if you play kind of smart instead of getting really... You know, then I got my demon hunter in a pretty precarious situation. I mean, I don't even know why I did this. This is just like me being hella retarded. So, anyways, now I just he used a TP. Um, he probably didn't have to. Um, and I, I left a bear there. Okay, I swear to God, this is about to be the seventh bear I lost. I think. I oh, know it lived. Anyways, so actually, I'm doing pretty well still, even though I lost like a million bears. I mean. I still have a ton of them at the bottom here. All I have to do is wait for my demon hunter to pop out and then probably counter. But he's got a lot of fiends and uh, he's got the skeleton wand and stuff like that. So Ugh, not very good. 
So he's bringing another Acolyte. Now at this point I kind of realize that I've lost uh, my main base. So um, sometimes if you're pretty smart and you realize that someone spends too much resources trying to tower rush you, you could just abandon your main and expand and then counter that way. So that's basically what I'm going to try and do. Um, I'm going to try and counter and... Uh, all that shit. Dude, I can't believe that I pulled my fucking microphone out. That really pisses me off. I'm still pissed about that. I spent 45 minutes recording audio commentary, and then, you know, I go to listen to it, and half of the damn thing isn't even recorded. What a freaking ass retard. I swear to God, sometimes, man. That's as dumb as I'm playing in this game. I'm Mr. Stick This! I'm recording an audio! <laughs> I take the yellow bus! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Swear, man. God. Look at the undead! Alright. Well, anyways, um, he's got a lot of fiends, a lot of towers. <clears throat> it's probably time to run. And drink some coffee. stuff. Coffee's not good for you guys, so don't drink that. <clears throat> drink water. Coffee stunts your growth, or something like that. Which really sucks if you're drinking coffee and you're 10 years old. That means your dick's gonna be like 2 inches long. I don't know if that's true, but I wouldn't risk it. So, and I'm 24. Actually, I'll be 25 pretty soon. Yeah, I'm about to be 25 hella soon. You guys better wish me a happy fucking birthday on October 1st. PayPal me some money, send me some pictures of naked women, or send me some naked women, I'll take that too. That's always a good birthday present. Naked ladies. So anyways, um... I'm just creeping out right here. Ogre Warlord, I pick up the Orb of Darkness. I, pro I would have rather had something like... You know, a health bonus item, or... I guess the Orb of Darkness isn't that bad. Anyway, so I'm starting to expand, and I do I just abandon my main. Excuse me for yawning, fuckers. I'm not really that tired. I'm just kind of... Yeah, I'm tired. Okay. It doesn't matter, though. Um, so anyways, um, I'm just trying to be a little dick. I'm going to try and run my ancients way, way back inside there. To see if I can buy myself some time for my expansion to go up. So, uh, I'm going to try and replace my ancient allures at the bottom there. Preferably before I lose my ancient of um, tree of eternity, and um, so, anyways, down goes the tree like your mom on her knees, and um, so I'm just continuing to do some power creeping and hopefully try and get myself maybe a level advantage or something like that on my demon hunter and pray for level six or something. So, um. Anyways, all right, you know, while I'm creeping, I'm going to tell you guys about this human strategy you've been kind of thinking about. I think it's kind of sexy, and I think you guys might agree. All right, here's what you do. Okay, check it out. So you go solo paladin, all right? Now, you go divine shield first, and you, the reason why you go divine shield first is for, like, harassment purposes, because you can run around and use divine shield. You might not really kill that much or, or steal that many items, but at least you'll really piss off your enemy, and uh, you'll... Because he can't attack your hero, and you can just walk around and just, you know, rub on his ass or whatever while you're, you know, watching him creep and stuff, and he'll be pretty pissed off about that because I'd obviously be gay, and I'd be pretty pissed off if someone's rubbing my ass, and I might want to kill him. So, um, so anyways, he's just checking out some creeping spots here. And basically, okay, so you go solo paladin first, and the main skill that you want to do is you don't want holy light, you want to do, um, devotion aura, level three. Now, the reason why you do Devotion Aura Level 3 is because, check this out, if you add the, the bonus of armor to all your units, which is like 4.5, I believe, at Level 3, and you add Holy Light, I mean, uh, Inner Fire, which is um, plus 5 armor plus some damage as well, um, then you add the armor upgrades to your units, and... Here's what you build. You build griffins and dragon hawks. You go mass air. I know mass air is nothing new with human, but just hear me out. You go mass air with armor upgrades, and you go devotion aura, and you do um, 
you get like four priests or so for inner fire, and you just cast inner fire on all your griffins. Dude, that is such fat armor on your griffins. I don't care how many bat riders your opponent has. If you got like a healing scroll, they're going to take like a million bat riders just to kill like one griffin with all that freaking armor. And because orc has like no real dispel, they can't dispel the, the inner fire. And your griffins are going to be doing sick ass damage with the extra damage bonus and, and all that good stuff. And your your hero will never die because he has like Define Shield level two by the time he's level five, and he can't really focus your hero. So all he has to do is he has he has no choice but to get a whole bunch of anti air. And it's, you're going to be sitting pretty on that. So and versus undead, I think it might work versus undead if you can get rid of destroyers and stuff. Um, you know, you can just. Uh, get mass, I don't know, I, don't know. I guess tanks or something to get rid of destroyers, I don't know what you do to get rid of destroyers, but just hear me out and just try it out, it would probably work for us, uh, versus uh, Night Elf, because Night Elf players, all they do is get bears and dryads anyways, and if you get mass dragon hawks, you can fo focus down the dryads and kill them pretty easily, and if you get a bunch of griffins, they'll just kick the shit out of bears, and then Night Elf will have no choice but to go like mass um, dryads plus maybe a couple, couple mountain giants, and that won't even do very well. So, that would do really good for a Night Elf, and you can probably pull that off pretty easily if you just, you know, I don't know. Because every stupid Night Elf player goes mass bears versus human, you know, no one ever tries anything new, and that's why, you know. And then, he, it's your own fault if you're a human player and you're still trying to do tier 2 Naga uh, tower rushes, and you're trying cheap shit like that. And then you lose and you go, oh, it's so fucking imbalanced, you know, Night Elf is bullshit. That's your own fault, dude, because you're just doing something you know, expect it, you know, I already expect you to be doing that stuff, or expect you to go Archmage and, and Mountain King or something, it just, you know, it's nothing new, so, you're gonna lose. So anyways, um, 